Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to get a digital library of all your DVDs just like just like this onto your computer. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this so that you guys can back up your own DVDs um, and make them easily accessible on your computer. Um, don't, don't do this to DVDs that you do not own. This is solely for the purpose of backing up your own DVDs just in case they get lost or or scratch broken you'll have digital copies so again just for your own DVDs all these DVDs that you've seen here are mine um, I like them all backed up and I don't like to dig through DVDs when I want to watch something I like having them all on here you can search and um, arrange them differently so all right, so I'm gonna pop up these um, notes every once in a while. Um, please read this first one. If just pause the video and read through it, and I'll bring up other ones that that have detailed steps of everything that I'm going through. So if you're new to this, go feel free to pause the video if you're kind of getting lost and read through those steps. Um, there are a lot of steps, but they're all very simple steps. So, if you need to pause the video, if you if you've done this kind of stuff in the past, you, you shouldn't really have any kind of problem. So you can kind of just let the video play on through the notes. Um, let's see. All right. So the first step. Okay. So we're gonna install three different programs. My movies first. That is the plugin that allows Windows Media Center to display your DVDs that are on your hard drive um, the way that I just showed you. It also comes with another program. I believe it's called uh, My Movies um, Collection Management, which I'll show you how to use in a little bit. Passkey is the second one that you'll want to download. This um, allows DVDs to be read and, and ripped onto your hard drive. And DVD Shrink, hopefully you won't need to use, but it's the program that, that I like to use when movies and passkey working together don't successfully rip movies to your hard drive, which, I mean, it's gonna happen sometimes. Anyone that's played with computers knows that there's pretty much no program that just works 100% all the time. So I'm going to show you how to how to get around prob problems using DVD Shrink. Um, the links are in the description, and it it works best if once once they're all installed, to restart your computer. So um, installing my movies it takes takes a couple steps. So it's the first link and the link will bring you to this download page and I only have a, a Windows Windows 7 desktop and I have a, um, a Vista laptop I've successfully done this process on on both um, you can see right here at the top if you have a Windows 7 you're gonna click this download page right here and if you have a Vista it's down under legacy products right here. Um, here's my movies for um, XP but it doesn't mention it coming with my movies collection management which is important so feel free to, to give that a shot if you have an XP but I'm not sure how that's gonna work I apologize I, I would go through the process and try to figure it out if I had an XP but I no longer have one so I know it works for for Vista and it works with Windows 7. So go ahead and click either one of those download pages. Make sure you click the um, the one that corresponds with your operating system. And it will bring you to this download page and all you do is click the link right here. Um, Again, if, if you get lost at any time, just pause the video when I have these notes up and you can carefully read through it and um, it should make it very easy for anyone. So 
just real quick, I've already downloaded the um, my movies on both my computers, so I'm not I'm not going to go through the whole process. It would take quite a while, but just real quick, it, you're going to download it. You'll tell it where to save. Um, the first thing you'll do when it when it downloads is you're going to extract the uh, the contents of the zip folder. It comes in a zip folder, so just go to wherever you saved it to, and you're going to hit you're going to select the folder and hit extract all. Um, it should automatically bring you into that folder. If it doesn't, just find the unzipped folder, click the uh, the setup button. Um, an installation window will pop up. Just click through all that. I think the first one it gives you options on how you want to use my movies. Um, I just use standalone. There's a couple other options. Like if I think I think they have to do with if you have multiple computers that you want to sync it with. I'm not 100% sure. Select the option that's best for you, and then just keep going through the installation window. Um, one of uh, one of the windows that pops up is going to going to install necessary programs to get Windows Media Center to to display my movies. That one can take quite a while. Don't worry, just let it work, and it should finish. Then you can click um, click install, let that finish, and then click finish. Um, you can now open Windows Media Center. And it might take a couple seconds, but a window should pop up that is asking you about my movies. Just click through all those. Um, it's yes, yes, okay. And then it gives you three options. Um, you can read exactly what those options are, but I like um, the confirm one. All right, my movies will now appear in Windows Media Center once you've done all those steps. If you have a Vista, it's going to actually say My Movies under the TV Plus Movies tab. If you have a Windows 7, you're now going to have two different movies in your Windows Media Center. So you'll see you have this one right under Extras, and you have this one right under Music. My Movies is this top one. Okay. Um, you're not going to be able to open it right away. If you try, it'll ask you to sign in. So go ahead and open up the My Movies collection management. It's going to come with the My Movies download, and it's right there. So you open that up, and it's going to ask you to sign in or create account. Um, just go ahead and create an account and you should be able to one it'll, it'll show you this screen of course all this will be empty because you probably don't have DVDs on your hard drive yet but you'll be able to see this screen as well as um, be able to access the uh, my movies in the Windows Media Center alright so once you um, make sure that you can open Windows Media Center and you've you've installed these other two programs again there's there's links in the description um, pass keys page should look like this you just download it right here and DVD shrink will look like this and this is down down the download right here um, I believe DVD shrink also comes in a zip a zip folder so you'll need to extract that and download and download from the unzipped folder um, again, just restart your computer once all the programs are downloaded. And I like to just put them all on the right side of my screen. If, if they don't automatically show up on your desktop, you should be able to go into all programs from your start menu and find them on here. And you can just drag and drop them onto your desktop. Alright, so we'll go ahead and move on to step number two.